hey everybody it's Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living and thanks for watching my videos welcome to my new subscribers I'm gonna talk about glucose testing meters and what to do with all of these I had a request from the Chicago 35 here on YouTube to make a video about how to get the batteries out of these um, most of them are fairly simple and um, you know because we get these as couponers we get lots of these for free not so much lately I haven't been seeing so many free deals but um, I think when they get the new models out they push the other the old models through on uh, free deals or moneymaker deals so um, you know I have talked about many times in my videos about using the batteries that are in these because they're the little button um, batteries the 20 tw um, 2032 is the number and it's a really common number my car fob right here uses that same battery that's in these meters and then also I happen to have a JVC remote control that uses that same battery those were two things that I know of right away that use that same battery um, so you might have some other little items remote control items that use these batteries as well so um, Chicago wanted to um, know how to get the batteries out. Most of them are fairly simple and um, two of them that I have do not have batteries like that and they are the USB ones and but I'm going to take those apart anyways because I wanted this to be more than just about the batteries because you know it never occurred to me um, go to look past the battery until I opened up that box and looked at what else was inside the box and <laughs> like you know but you got to look outside the box here and come up with ideas of what to do with what's inside of these and just not throw them in the trash because you made five bucks or ten dollars off of them and you're like I don't need them I can't find any place to donate them um, certainly donating them is um, a good option but they would prefer if the batteries are in them you know and that all the parts are there if you're gonna donate them but um, I was looking at them in a standpoint of you know what's here what can I do with it so I wanted to go through each of them and um, and show you what's in the box and what you can do with them okay so I have I have six different kinds that I have gotten this is the contour next easy and this one is actually really easy to get the batteries out of and um, let me show you what else comes with these things they got little um, these are the lancet things that poke your finger and they go into this little contraption right here and um, and it's spring loaded and it and it pokes your finger so you bleed. I haven't figured out what to do with that unless I just wanted to go around <laughs> poke people, right? Um, these little papers, the booklets and stuff that come with it, um, I will recycle those at the you know with paper recycling. There's a nice handy card with the number on it. I can use that card for something because it's a nice piece of little cardstock. Um, make a little label for something in my file cabinet drawer probably. Um, this one actually in the booklet has instructions on how on page 48 on how to take the battery out so here's the the meter itself and on the back of it, it it has a little place for your finger to go and you just push up on that and that that back pops off and there's two batteries in this one okay some of them have two some of them have one so um, yeah that's that simple um, but inside this box also you get these all of them come with a little carrying pouch, a zipper pouch, and they vary. But I mean, this is worth something. Like this one has two big, well, one open pocket, and one zipper pocket. But I was thinking, you know, these things for like, um, like your camera. If you have a lot of camera accessories, you know, that you carry your SD cards and. Um, you know any little thingies that you need like I mean even in your purse if you if you have like nail clippers or something like that that you carry and you want to keep separate I mean <laughs> there's a million uses for this little bag right here um, give it to your kids if they've got like a um, a little DS man what are those things called that those the little games that the kids play with you know they can carry their little games in that or whatever um, I don't know what to do with the box <laughs> wrap a Christmas present in it and um, and then that'll be fun for somebody they think they're getting a, a meter and then it has something else in it my mom used to do that all the time she'd bring home boxes from her job at a hospital and people would be thinking they were getting petri dishes and stuff for Christmas so um, that's pretty funny so there's one 
let's look at this AccuCheck Nano right here. <laughs> okay, this one's got a pretty heavy duty box, but I, around here they don't recycle this white pasteboard yet. I don't know where to recycle that at, so a piece of cardboard. You can use that for something. If you need a piece of cardboard, <laughs> you can recycle that. Um, horrible pieces of plastic, but it's number one. I can recycle that. So here is this little Nano. And on this one down here on the bottom, it's got a little divot that you need to pull on. And this one, you know, you just you kind of just have to tug on it. There's the two batteries. They just slid right out of that. And, the, and they're the 2032 batteries, right? Like, just right like that. Okay, and that just pops back back down in there. This one, the little carrying case, um, is a little bit different, and and this one came with, um, well, it's got some more of the Lancet things in it, and then and then here's the the Lancet. It actually goes with this one with a little dialing meter. You can poke a bigger hole if you want. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, this one's got a pretty cool carrying case in it as well. That you know. Um, little girls who have um, Barbie accessories, if they're carrying those around, you know, you can keep your Barbie shoes in there. Um, all kinds of stuff. Um, this one, in fact, it came with oh, lots of miscellaneous material in here. Inside of this, there is this pouch right here. And inside of here, more papers to recycle. A nice piece of blank card stock right there that I do crafts, so that stuff's important to me. And then this, okay, um, a, it comes with a disc. And if you're a crafter, like um, these are these, you can you do crafts with these. Kids, kids can do crafts um, with those. You can, you know, make Christmas tree ornaments or whatever reflectors to get the birds out of your garden or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, but there's um, lots of stuff in here to recycle. And, and it comes with this um, little, uh, it's credit card size, it's a, it's a pretty stiff piece of plastic. That might be handy for somebody to do something, you know, if you break in the houses or something, you know, get the lock. Okay, I didn't suggest that. Uh, yeah, and then um, some of the meters come with a little booklet, and inside of here, it's, like, it's a chart, you can chart your food. And so I was thinking, even if you don't, you aren't tracking your glucose, and um, you probably, if you're on some kind of a diet and you want to keep track of your daily um, vegetables you eat and stuff like that, you maybe could find a use for um, doing that. So, um, yeah, that all needs to get recycled. And, of course, all of that crap came wrapped in plastic, all those little booklets. Um, here's the Breeze 2 from Bear. Um, once again, the same miscellaneous pile of stuff with the little... Um, tracking booklet here. Um, keep track of your food intake. Stuff to recycle. I actually like the pouch in this one. It's it's each of these little carrying cases is a little different. Um, this one I, I think is really nice. <laughs> okay, so um, you know if you if you have somebody who carries like little micro tools um, or stuff like that, that might be useful to them too. Um, it's got a lancet thingy poker in there too. And um, if I could get the meter out of the box, I'll show you what to do with the meter. Okay, this one, is, this is gigantic. Um, this one is a little bit trickier. It took me a little bit to figure out how to get the batteries out of this one. So on the back side of it, there's this little um, gray tab right here. You have to push down on that, and then that whole back side pops open like that. And, um, yeah, and then um, right here on the side... You can see it on, but you got to open it up in order to pull this out. There, there's this little door. Well, it's a little tray, and this pulls out. And this is one you have to really pull on. And there's the battery inside of there. And this one only has one battery in it. Okay, the biggest one they have, and it's got one battery. So that's back in there. So yeah, you, this is a little tricky the first time you do it. Push down on that, and then the whole door pops open, and then you pull the little tray out right there. So that's how you do that one. This is the, um, the just the plain old bear contour. And yeah, the box got mushed. I have a lot of these. Okay, same standard um, brochures. This bag in this one actually has a little Velcro tabby on the back of it, so you can hook it on your belt and carry it with you. I think that's an extra bonus feature on this particular bag. Um, 
but the inside of it's not as exciting as the inside of the other ones. I like the pockets on the other ones. <laughs> and, um, yeah, another, you know, I got all these lancets here. Okay. So here's this, and this one's like that first one I showed you. It, it's, you just push, you just push on the back of it and the door pops off. And you got two batteries right there. And if you have trouble getting those out, you just get a knife and you just poke on them and get them out. Um, oh yeah, something else, that, that meter actually sits inside of this little plastic thing. It comes in here. And I've heard, like, if you make, um, I've heard of people, like, making their own chalk, you know, for kids and stuff. And then you get these little blister packs like this, and you can mold your, your chalk in these things. So then it makes a little chunk of chalk, or, like, you could mold wax into that. I, I've heard other things, like, doing plaster repairs things. If you like the shape of those little blister packs, um, that might be handy. Okay, here's the contour next... Um, USB. Now this Contour US, Next USB and the Contour USB. So anyways, both of these. These do not have batteries in them that you can um, reuse unless you, you're some kind of an engineer. And I was thinking about these meters in and of themselves. If you're some kind of like, like electronic tech guru, you could probably find uses for the little components in here because like, could we say that there's, um, more technology in here than what went to the moon in the spacecraft to the moon. I, I don't know how that works because they say wrist watches. I'm thinking there's a lot of technology in here. It, we could fly the moon with that. So um, let's look at the contour USB. So I was thinking about the circuit boards in these and actually the one, one of these I popped open to show you because I wanted to look at what the battery actually looked like inside. These ones are a little bit different because they have a rechargeable lithium battery in them and they're not made to be replaced. When they die, they die. So here is the device. And this looks, these two look really, really similar, okay? They, I mean, they, it's the same case and everything. Um, the end comes off like that and you plug it into a USB. So the stuff that's in here, the standard Lancet dealies to poke you. And, um, oh, this other thing that I didn't show you in one of the other ones. It's a little plastic cap that goes over top of the lancet thing. It's got a hole in the end of it here, but I was thinking that could be some kind of a little funnel for something. I don't know. <laughs> Just like, I'm looking at these. What, what can you do with all this? So this comes with both of these come with um, the same stuff and um, the booklets and stuff. But let me show you. I got this other one torn apart over here. Um, Actually, they had two different bags, but yeah, the bags are similar to other ones. This one's got a, um, a little, this one's like a really soft case bag I, if you wanted to carry something really important in it. And um, that one's, we've seen this one before, that's the same thing as the other one. I'm sure they're all made in the same factory in China. Um, <laughs> two, two Ziploc baggies. We can always reuse those for something else. And it came with a, um, a little, uh, Twist tie. You can, I reuse those all the time. The card again. Okay, let's see. There is some interesting stuff here. Okay, let me show you the um, what's inside of this darn thing. I had to get a big knife out. There's my big knife. <laughs> I had to get this out to pop this thing open because this thing isn't me meant to be popped open. Although I have to say that in the one book, I don't know if I can find it again here. Yeah, I got. Oh yeah, it comes with some lovely Lancet sticker reminders. Okay, we all love stickers. If you got little kids, they don't care what's on the sticker. Just give them the stickers, right? Um, it talks about in the book about recycling this battery. So when it's dead or whatever, and it, you're not going to use it no more, um, how to pop it open and um, recycle the battery so that it doesn't go in the landfill. Other than the fact that the landfill in my county. They throw, they take the batteries because the recycle center won't take batteries anymore and recycle them. They say throw them in the landfill. Okay. Anyhow, I popped it open, and this is the battery here, this black thing, and it's got a little plug right here. And um, actually, this take the cap off. This whole thing comes apart like this. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's got a nice big view screen right here. That's what I'm saying. If you're like an electronic dude, you could probably do a lot with this little message screen right here. I don't know. Um, and this little circuit board back here. But anyways, this thing unplugs right here. And then this thing 
has four clips, two on each side, that you just undo and you can take the battery off like that. And then dispose of it properly, but like I said, in my county, we got no place to dispose of batteries, which I think is horrible. Okay, so that's that, but this is my favorite thing that I discovered tonight, opening all of these boxes up. And um, the, look, not the, this, this is pretty exciting too. This is the extended Stendo cable, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, for this, okay? Like, how much would you have to pay for this? This is a regular USB plug that, like, you plug into your computer, okay? This is the adapter end. It's just an extension cord for a USB plug. So, like, if your computer was down on sitting at the bottom of your desk, you plug this in, and then... Let me find the end of the meter. <laughs> the end of the meter plugs right into this, if I do it the right direction around like that. See that? Th I mean, like, how much would you pay for this at Best Buy? I don't know. Ten bucks for that? Okay. And this is what actually I thought was the most exciting thing. So both of these Contour USBs have this. This is a plug so you can take the meter and you can charge it in the wall because that's a rechargeable battery in there. See, it just pl it plugs into the hole in there. Okay, like, here's my cell phone Here's my cord to my cell phone. Ooh. And the the end that goes in the phone. Okay, see this right here? This blue and white piece? I paid $10 for this at Walgreens because I needed another one. Okay, this one folds, the thingies fold up. I paid like 10 bucks for this so that I could plug my cell phone cord into it. Okay, and I have like... 20 of these, or I don't even know how many of these were sitting in my house. I know they were here when I bought that. So anyways, and I tried it, and it actually, it works. I mean, it's just it's just a USB plug to put it into the wall. Like, how, how much is that worth? And I know I, I didn't pay, I don't pick up meters just because they're free. I pick up meters because I make money off of them from the couponing deals. So, um, <laughs> anyways, that was a spectacular find. Not that I need another one because I got this, I bought that one. But I think that's pretty exciting. So, um, oh yeah, and my other thing that I did not show you, um, one of the um, the uh, booklets that came out of, I guess, the Bear 2. Um, my grandma used to do this with her Reader's Digest magazines and other stuff. She'd make Christmas trees out of them by folding the corners down like this. And um, and when I saw this, I thought, oh, look, you could make a craft with this as well. And um, make it, and she would spray paint them green <laughs> and put, put little decorations on them to make them into Christmas trees. Okay, that's all the craft ideas I have for you today. But... How exciting is that? So that's some that's some really good stuff. If you've never opened up your meter boxes, it might be time. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.